hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel my name is queen blessing and thank you so much if you're just joining me for the first time it's a pleasure to have you guys here with me and for my returning subscribers you guys are amazing thank you for always coming back to check your girl out so today's video is all about how i get to revamp like my dry hungry thirsty wigs um and that Bring them back to life you know to become you know something this nice trust me she wasn't this pretty but you know i was able to do one or two things you know some magic and razzmatazz to get her back to life and i'm still loving this look that i was able to achieve with it so if you would like to see how i got this hair like this wig to pop and slay the way it is and you like to learn a couple of things on how to lay your own wigs then stay tuned and keep watching don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't forget to share and like thank you so much see you in the video I will be a father to you, and you shall be my sons and daughters, says the Lord Almighty. 2 Corinthians 6 verse 18. So this is the wig that I'll be working with. Um, it's a double drawn wig, and this is what she looks like. You know, pretty dry, tangled, no luster, completely busted um so i'm going to show you guys how i usually just get my wig back on track as a full frontal wig as you can see and it has the elastic band so the first thing i'll do is to put it on the mannequin head and then you know try and detangle her as much as possible you want to do that to make sure that you don't have you know any it doesn't get too tangled by the time you wash you wash her out so what I usually do is that I go in with my detangling spray because it makes it very easy for me to detangle that way. So I just go in with my detangling spray. I'll show you that in a minute. This is the one I use. So I don't know if you guys can see, but that's the one I use. So I'll go in with the detangling spray and my detangling brush. So I'll just Go, go over her like so. And make sure I focus at the ends of the hair because that's where we're going to start brushing from. So I just do this to loosen up the hair, not necessarily because it's going to have any you know major effects i just want to make sure that it glides easily when i start to brush so i'm going to start off from the tip like so you can see that with the spray it comes off real easy i don't need to struggle and struggle you know to brush it out it just comes off real easy as a matter of fact with the detangling spray alone this wig is going to bounce back i guarantee you and this brush works magic okay as you can see i'm actually not even detangling from the you know the tip anymore because it's pretty much just putting back <laughs> moisture into the hair so you can see already that because of the detangling spray the hair is literally you know back like look at that so the next thing I'll do is to wash, shampoo and condition her because I've not washed this unit in a very long time. But you can see that it's easy and flowy already, all right? So I'm going to wash and detangle, um, wash and co um, condition her uh, with using the Tresme. This is what I'll be using. Tresme shampoo and conditioner. So, so I'll go ahead, I already have the hair ready for wash. So I'm just going to put her here and then go ahead and use, like I said, my Tresemme um, Luxurious Moisture for dry and damaged hair. This really, really works one that is highly recommended. So if you're looking for a product to use, I highly recommend that you use this on your wave. So I'll go in with the shampoo. Um, I usually don't use too much shampoo, just a little um, bit and just do one wash with the shampoo. This is what I really use, you know, to add the moisture I want. So I'm just going to go in with like lukewarm water. So 
so I'll just go ahead and just keep rubbing downwards stroking downwards once I feel like you know I've washed it enough so I'll go ahead and rinse it now This is what she's looking like. Washed. So I'm just trying to squeeze out the water as much as possible from the unit before I apply the conditioner. I'm going to do is to go in with my conditioner. I'm going to infuse a lot, like a lot of conditioner. I use a lot because once I do this, then I'll show you the next thing I next step I take. I'm gonna put a lot to make sure that it goes, you know, all around it. Making sure that every single strand gets a dose of the conditioner. Now, if you're not in a hurry, um, like you don't want to wear the unit ASAP, you can go ahead and just, um, some people use like the water method and just, you know, put the conditioner in a bowl of water and soak the hair overnight. But I'm not doing that because I'm wearing these units today. so. I'm just going to show you my quick method, my quick or not so quick method <laughs> of, you know, getting my unit to slay when I'm ready to wear her. So, so I'm just going to keep, you know, rubbing my fingers, making sure that the conditioner, you know, goes through every single strand and gosh, it smells so good, really, really good. Making sure I'm using all the products. <laughs> so, see why I said it's important to detangle before, you know, washing your units because if you're not careful, especially if it's not even like very high quality hair, it's just gonna go ahead and you know get really really tangled. So you want to make sure that you detangle as much as possible and then. Make sure there are no tangles, you know, locking anywhere. All right. I also do this so that I can get to the roots. For the lace frontal. So the next thing I'm going to do, like I said, if I wasn't going to wear this unit today, I probably would just, you know, um, leave her this way. But because I'm going to wear her today, I'm just going to go ahead and put her in a ziplock, like so, and then throw her in the microwave oven. That way, I make sure that I get the conditioner to really, really stick in. I'm just going to put her for three, two to three minutes maximum, and I'll be back. So I just brought her out of the microwave, as you can see, the steam is still coming out. I put her in for two minutes, like I said, because I wanted, you know, to like literally cook the hair. And trust me, it is really hot. Um, so you need to be careful when you're doing this. And you want to wash her with very cold water. That's what I'm going to go ahead and do right now. It's so hot. You can see the steam coming out of it. It's really hot. And the conditioner, as you can see, already melted into the unit. You can see that the texture is a lot silkier now. I don't know if you can notice, but it's a lot silkier than when we started from. So. You just make sure you wash out the products as much as possible. All 
right? That's what she's looking like. You can see how nice it's looking already. So I'll go ahead and put on the mannequin head and then start to style her. So I have on a mannequin head and this is what she's looking like. You can see, I don't know if, you know, as I was showing you earlier on the loister, you can see how, you know, silky and nice she's looking already. Really, really nice. So uh, what I usually do is just go in with my corner, um, that's the name. I don't know if you can see the number. It comes with three different brush styles for straight hair, wavy, and coily. But I'm using the straight one. So it's just going to comb through. It serves as a two-in-one, like a blow dryer and um, the comb, a comb to help to straighten your hair and all that. So I'm going to go in, you know, to dry with this one. But before that, I'm going to use this OC Hair Insurance um, Hair Protecting Shine Spray to protect your hair from heat. I just do that because, I don't know, I just do it because I like to do it. But it helps to just protect your hair from the heat of the blow dryer. So even if I want to go on like very high because of I'm rushing out, I need to dry this unit really fast. It's just going to help to protect the strand. So I'll just go ahead and spray it in. So next thing is to go ahead and use my dryer. So for extra juice, I usually like to go in with this product. This is Argan Oil Morocco. Argan Oil is one of my favorite things to use for my units. And then I'm also going to go in with a dab of this Miracle Worker Orion. Uh, I don't know if you can see. Yeah, so I'm going to go in with a dab of this one as well, okay, um, to make sure that the hair gets, you know, the continuous moisture that it needs to have, you know, even after I've washed, you know, and worn hair for a while. It's just going to keep the hair, you know, looking nice. It adds shine, soothes dry scalp, reduces breakage, strengthens, um, moisturizes hair, defines curls. You know, it does a lot of things, detangles, increases body, thermal protection. So like what I use this for, this also does the same thing. So it's like a loaded product, highly recommended. Okay, so I'm just going to go in and just add a little of her as well, all over. And I'm doing this because I'm still going to go ahead to flat iron the unit after I'm done. So I'll go with my argan oil. Just for that, you know, lovely shine that we all crave for in our unit. So this is what um, my unit is looking like now after blow drying her. Like I told you, the um, Con Air blow dryer helps to like kind of straighten the hair, you know. And this is what um, the outcome is now. So I'm going to go ahead and start to, you know, flat iron her for, you know, I want it to be silky straight. Even though the hair is not going to be silky straight, but I just need it to be, you know, tamed and, you know, look really nice. So I'm going to go ahead and start to flat iron her now. So the first thing I'm going to do when I want to flat iron is um, I'm going to section the hair so that I can, you know, get every part as much as possible. So I'll just go in and section her. So I've already sectioned the hair ready for flat ironing and this is you know the way I do it I just take it in portions so I can get a very good you know um, job done so I just 
take a portion again that I want to work with and then I use my rat tail comb to smoothen it out like so and then I go in with my flat iron targeting the roots I usually like to target the roots and then I go straight now be careful because this is usually hot very very hot another thing I like to do is to go in with my comb and just place it underneath like so and then use that to straighten it out all the way that way you get a very nice you know um, flattened hair let me just do that again so like I said it's not going to exactly be silky straight because of the kind of hair it is a double drawn hair as you can see so it's not going to come out like extremely flat so yeah so on to the next one So that's what it's looking like now. You can see the texture is a lot smoother and straight. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and flat iron everything and then I'll be back. So this is how far I've come with you know straightening the hair. Um, like I mentioned earlier on, the wig was previously um, layered, so and the texture, as you can see, is very dense, you know, so it's not going to be like flat out, silky straight kind of look. But I just, like I said, I just needed it to be straight, you know, and not have any curls or necessarily waves. And this is how far I've come. So I'm going to go ahead and finish up the front part, which is primarily the um, closure. So I'm just going to go ahead and keep, you know, flat ironing her. Now, the reason why I'm trying to flat iron the wig um, backwards, the front part, is because I want it to have like a flip over back, you know, um, style. I'm not trying to put it part per se. I just want it to just lay like a frontal wig without any defined part. So that's why, if you're wondering why I'm trying to, you know, flat iron the wig backwards, that's the reason why I'm doing that. Because I just want it to cover. If you notice that the wig has like some sparse ends in the middle. So this method just helps to, you know, cover up that area. And don't worry that it is, you know, like I have some strands which are just, you know, everywhere. Those are supposed to be the baby hairs, but like I, it's not a new unit. So um, I'm just, those were, those were the baby hair that was caught earlier on. So that's why they're not going to prob uh, probably lay like I want them to, but I'm going to go ahead and use my glue to lay them 
and I'm ready. So, on to the next part. So this is how far we've come. This is what she's looking like. Don't worry about this baby hairs. I'm gonna like, you know, like I said, use the glue to flatten them. But I just wanted it to have like, no particular parts, just all the way back. So that I can just flip her over to any, you know, parts that I want when I wear her. Let me just go ahead and just put in some finishing touches. Yes, and we are done. So if you want for extra shine, you can also still go in with your argan oil. I usually like to go with my argan oil just to add that you know, shine. And the reason why I like the argan oil is that unlike other oil, it doesn't, you know, um, cause the hair to like, it doesn't weigh the hair down. It just adds brilliance and shine without necessarily, you know, making the hair to become like very, what's the word now, like flat, yes. It just adds shine to the unit. So yeah. I'll go ahead and style her and then All I'll right, be back. So the next thing I'm going to do now is to go ahead and wear my wig, um, stocking wig cap. My wig is ready, like I showed you guys earlier on. So I'm just going to go ahead and wear the wig, um, wig cap, sorry. I'm going in with this nude one. I usually like to wear my wig grip as well because it just helps to keep the wig secured on my head. Um, sometimes I like to go in with the brown one. I know now this is maybe an extra, but I just like to go in with the brown one to also make sure that you know I have extra security. Like I always just make fun that my head is pretty small. So this is just to help me make sure that you know the wig is just intact on my head. So I already um put the edge control on my hair and um I already braided it into cornrow, although it's kind of old, but this is what it looks like. So I'll just go ahead and wear the wig grip over my head like so and i'm moving it to the back because i'm trying to glue down the lace so i need to move it towards the back so it doesn't get in the way you know during the process of laying down the wig this front so this is the wig cap i'll be using i'm just going to go ahead like you all know, we're not supposed to get it in the way of your natural edges. So you need to make sure that you pull it to the back and make sure that your natural edges are not showing. Like you can see mine, you know how long mine is. So I'm just going to take it one step at a time. Um, I'm also going to just cut open the ear part a bit. So that it can you know go into my ear nicely i just learned that method a little while back be careful when you're doing this <laughs> so you don't rip off so that way your wig cap is secure and you're good to go so next thing i'll do is to go ahead and use the um got to be spray like so so I'll go ahead and use my blow dryer to also make sure that it's uh I'm going to use the cool pack I guess it's already kind of dry and tacky so I'm going to go ahead and just rip off the excess part of the lace the part that I'm not going to need so we'll just start off by sniffing it gently like so okay 
can see that it's already stuck to my head so you just want to cut across the line and make sure that you know you're tracing it nicely So I'll go with my smaller scissors just to make sure that I get all those tiny edges out of the way. I need to be careful when doing this as well. really hard because the got to be glued spray really did its number so okay so I think we're good next thing I'm going to do now is to apply um, foundation or powder that is going to blend with my skin okay and I need to cut this up as well So we have our body. I'm going to go ahead and use my powder to, to blend in and make sure that I get enough coverage to blend to my skin. So I've gone ahead to apply the um, the powder all through as you can see. I also trimmed out some you know extra layer from the wig cap because it was too forward. So I'm going to go in now my got to be glued and just apply it all over you know the edges. So just watch and, and see how I do that. So I'm going to take a little portion because I don't want it so much, you know, on my uh, edges. <laughs> so I'm just going to do that to flatten this area like so just to make sure that it lays properly. If you saw my previous video, I already showed you how to take, a, um, to take off the wig cap, um, your wig, sorry, after the day. So um, you already know what to do. So don't freak out when you see, when you see us do these things, it's just, you know, going to make it better so I'm just going to do this to make sure that the cap is laying properly So I'm done with the blow dryer. I don't want to bore you guys with that. So I'm done with that part. So I'm just going to go in with our mentholated spirits, which is rubbing alcohol, and just clean up the you know the edges around the wig cap to make sure that we don't have any residue of the glue you know peeping through. So I just use that to make sure that it's clean. So yeah, we have it sitting pretty nice. So I'm going to go ahead now and get the wig cap, um, the wig, sorry, I keep mixing up wig cap and wig. I'm going to go ahead and get the wig and just, you know, begin to lay gently. Um, the first thing I will do is to put the wig on my head. So let me just get my wig. I'm just going to go ahead and pop, you know, the wig on like so. Kind of snug so bear with me <laughs> it's really really a snug wig okay so that's what she's looking like already um i already went ahead to use like the mousse to create the baby hairs because i didn't want that showing either so i need to make sure that 
is sitting nicely. Okay, so I already know the position I want to place it. So what I'm going to do now is just to go ahead and use the got to be glue to also lay it, you know, like I did previously, so it sits nicely. So I'm just going to move this back a bit. And then brush the baby hairs out of the way so it doesn't get in the way from what I'm trying to do. So next thing I'll do is to apply the glue all over it again like so. And then go with my blow dryer. So I'll go ahead and do that for every other part. You like to take it one step at a time because it's just easier that way than to, you know, lay everything at once. And like I said, be very careful so that the strands don't get in the way. So I'm, I'm done laying you know the entire frontal and this is what we have right now so I'm just going to brush it backwards so I can really work on my baby hairs you know so you guys can see you can see that it is really snug like really really snug and it's not moving anywhere just brush it out of the way like so okay and let me just show you what the part looks like. Like this cup. And that's why it's always good to like apply like your brown powder or foundation. Because that way it helps to just give this you know flawless finish. So anyway I wanna like put the frontal, it's just gonna my part it looks really nice so that's what it's looking like already so I'm just going to go ahead and work on the baby hair so I've already gone ahead to put my um, hair away um, I have some free hair around here but I went in with my mousse I just took a little dab of it and just put it to make sure that you know it stays away out of my face I'm also going to apply some to the baby hairs to help it lay better and to help me define you know the area I'm working with I'll go with my edge brush and just start to brush you know the baby hairs in the direction I want it to to be like so and I'm using um, the got to be glued so just to find that part like so. One of the reasons I like to do the um, baby hairs is not just because I want to, it's because it just helps to, you know, like mask the lace as much as possible. So I know some people don't like, don't really fancy the baby lace just like it without baby sorry baby hairs I just fancy without it but I just feel like it just works best for me so I'm gonna keep going
going to go ahead and ap um, apply um, some got to be spray just a little and then I'll go in with my um, headband I will leave it for some minutes while I apply my makeup so I'll be right back <laughs> hi guys so I'm back and I'm done with my look uh, my makeup looks so it's time to reveal the hair and show you guys what she looks like now my fingers are crossed I'm hoping that it turns out really nice you know so yeah let's see what it looks like okay <laughs> Ooh. Okay. Ooh. I don't know. <laughs> what do you ladies think? Oh, let me see. Ooh, I think. Okay. Okay. Like I said, I didn't want it to have any particular, like, a. Uh, Part. so you know I was just playing around and hoping that it will work out but this is what she's looking like like super baked <laughs> okay all right let me stop playing around wow the baby hairs though <laughs> okay uh, oh wow now those short ones in front won't just you know they won't just comply I don't know why it's just insane I'm just done with it <laughs> let's keep going oops <laughs> uh, well usually what I recommend although I don't have any right now is like hair wax Um, that really helps as well okay to if you want like your hair to slick like stay slicked down you can use um hair mask i don't have any now like i said but i and i used i used it sometime in the past if i do get one i'll show you guys in my next video but yeah this is what it's looking like i don't know what do you ladies think i need you to rate me on this one or a nice opinion candid opinion but this is the final look And if I want to push it like the other way, I could also go this way. Mm. would <laughs> really make sense but you could still use the most at this point if you want to have like a defined part you could just go in with your most to make those but I think I like the other way better I don't know I think I like the other way better, like, you know. I think this way works best for me. Just go with my flat iron.
Okay. So what do you ladies think? I think I like it better this way. I think it suits me better this way. So yeah. That's the final look, ladies. <music> watching this video i know it might not be like the perfect kind of video or tutorial but i just hope you enjoyed watching it trust me i'm going to keep getting better so thank you so much for taking our time to watch i hope you had fun i hope you learned something new if you have any questions be sure to drop it in the comment below and if you have any ideas or suggestions of what kind of videos you like to see me do do let me know as well in the comment section below don't forget to share subscribe and like and see you in my next video I remain your beautiful host, Queen Blessing. Bye for now. Toodles. Mwah.